in June, a shady veranda under a Sunday blue sky. Memphis in June, and cousin Amanda's making a rhubarb pie. I can hear that clock inside, a tickin' and a talkin'. Everything is peacefully dandy. I can see old Granny cross the street, still a rockin', watchin' the neighbors go by. Memphis in June with sweet oleander. Blowing perfume in the air Up jumps the moon To make it that much grander It's paradise Brother, take my advice Nothing's half as good as Memphis in June I want to talk about this song just for a couple minutes. Um, now you can tell the strum is nothing going on here, but the strum matches the song because it's just about one of those, uh, I've never been to Memphis, but this is just a warm Sunday afternoon. They're sitting underneath the shade in the front porch, the veranda. Uh, there's a smell of that rhubarb pie cooking, and uh, you can just hear the clock ticking along inside, plodding along your day, but it's not a boring, horrible day. This is a wonderful, slow, easy-going day that you wish most days could be like, but you know most days never are like. And so you don't have to have anything going on here at the Strum. Even my triplet seemed a little bit laggy. So you don't have to worry on, folk, on uh, your strumming on this song. The one thing I do want to point out, though, is that I did bar, bar chord a couple places here, which makes it look really easy. I want to explain to you what I did. Now, you know an open chord is an A minor 7 or a C6, an A minor 7. You know that this is a B minor 7. C minor 7. You bring it up here, it's a D minor 7. Bring it up here, it's an E minor 7. So if you use your second position C, which is 5, 4, 3, 3, like a B flat shape, make a C, you're already bar chorded. Now you'll notice a couple times, there's a couple times when I pivot my chord from a G7, which is an F7 shape at the third fret, I'll pivot it and just make a C shape that way, and then when I get comfortable, I'll flip it up to the bar. So if you start out with the bar chord here, you're going, Memphis in June, a shady veranda, under a F7 shape, Sunday blue sky, G sharp 7, so you're at the fourth fret now with the F7 shape. Memphis in June and Cousin Amanda's making a rhubarb pie. And you could bar chord that 7 because remember it's basically an E7 shape. Barred. There's your F7. You could bar chord that. That's an F7. Here's your G7. So you could bar chord it, but what I found is that's one that I get a muddy tone. See? My strings buzz, so I'll still single finger that. Anyway, there's just a little clue on the C, D minor 7, E minor 7. And it works really good with this chord, just going. So if you're working on your bar chords and you don't want a fast song to strum, this might be a good song for you to try out. Give it a try. Memphis in June, written by one of my uh, songwriting heroes, uh, Hoagie Carmichael.